Hello world, it's DB Sinclair here with your boy Shaq. What up? And we are here in a game of Evolve Hunt with the new monster behemoth and the four new hunters, Torvald, Crow, Slim, and Sunny. Rocking and rolling, Shaq. Yeah, we got quite the crew assembled here. Just some of the bros from 2K uh, trying to show us what's good with the new characters. You know what's good, Shaq? The tongue grab, but only when you actually hit the creatures with it. It is a nice way to farm. It's a nice way to separate the hunters from the rest of the bunch as well. Yeah, what you're gonna notice right off the bat here is that Behemoth is just a whole nother realm of monster, right? Absolutely. That role that you're seeing right here, totally different. The stamina system that it works on, it's no longer separated into chunks. Right. Now it's one continuous bar that you use. He does pick up the movement speed. What a buff to get as the monster rolling all over the places. Here come the hunters you're seeing. Sunny with her jetpack booster. Here's the medic using that uh, drone, that healing drone on his teammates. Tell us about the trapper shack. Look at that goby right there. Oh, uh, what a cute little guy. So he's perched up on Crow's arm and uh, then Crow just sends him out in the line in front of him and that's going to go ahead and mark anybody in his way and looks like he was able to find old behemoth over here. Yeah, great marking, but look at this, Shaq. We've got a tunnel here. The hunters all mixed up with a lava bomb followed by the rock wall. That's a nice place for the behemoth to fight. Yeah, it looks like that's the new uh, the new shrapnel mine that uh, Torvald has. And oh, that's a wicked thing to throw. He looks like a discus thrower. Apparently, he was in his past an ultimate frisbee champion. That's where he gets the skills to throw that disc there. I, I gotta tell you, Dave, nothing's more badass than ultimate frisbee. But with that said, not only is it a shrapnel grenade, it paints weak spots on its target, allowing the assault to be the only character in the game to shoot his own weak spots. Here you're seeing the monster lock them down in the hallway again. Lava bomb and tongue grab brings assault in close and assault goes down. Yeah, this is a tough spot for the hunters. Behemoth is just really strong in these close quarters. Tongue grab brings him in even closer. You can tongue grab the incapacitated hunters. You can also try to tongue grab their friends who are trying to help him up. And look at that, that's Crow with his kinetic rifle. And that thing shoots through armor, Dave. It's a real game changer. You no longer need to get the monster's armor down before you can do lasting health damage to it. From the kinetic launcher to the shrapnel grenade and the assault's auto fire shotgun, massive damage being dealt to the monster. Yeah, this team is super just different, right, Dave? I mean, they're, they're taking all the conventions that you've seen in each of these classes and they're just turning them on its head. Speaking of that, we have a shield drone from Sunny. Uh, the shield drone is deployed into the environment and then we'll shield any hunter that is being targeted by the monster. And what you just saw there was Slim's leech gun. And what's super cool about this medic is that the more he leeches his target, the faster his healing burst charges up. So he's a medic that wants to be offensive. He wants to get in the shit and be shooting at the monster. And they're doing it here. They are trying to get up in the behemoth's face as they already have a bar and now two bars of health depleted from the monster. Here we have Crow using his stasis gun, trying to slow the monster down. But look at him roll away, Shaq. He has big time moves when he gets his momentum going. Yeah, Behemoth, big fan of the rock and roll over here. He wants to keep moving, right? Keep using that roll move and get as far away from the hunters as possible so he can keep eating. Yeah, he is a massive target. So as long as he can stay away from the hunters, he's gonna be able to roll at his leisure and find that food to eat to not only build up his armor, but get that evolve energy up as well so he can get up to stage two and then eventually stage three. Does startle birds here though. You do see the pet bat ray uh, being deployed by Crow. If that does catch the monster, you are going to see it highlighted similar to Val's Trank gun. As we see Sunny here with her jetpack booster using that to get her teammates across this tyrant pit of death. Yeah, that jetpack booster is vital in using it to catch up to the monster. Uh, it allows the teammates to not use their own jetpack fuel and instead use the fuel from her jetpack gun. It's great for boosting them forward. Monster staging up to stage two. You're seeing a point in Fisher, Lava Bomb, and a second point in Tongue Grab as well. I'm loving these abilities. The Fisher maneuver is going to uh, send a very devastating attack in the direction of the hunter's wool which will actually crawl up any wall in its way including the rock wall deployed by the monster oh looks like that's a missed sneak pounce really cool animation on that one he does a nice little twirl in the air and uh let's see if he's gonna bust out that fissure here in this battle 
here come the hunters led by Slim with the leech gun there. He's able to go in and burst the team. The rest of the hunters dancing around trying to stay out of the way of the fisher and the tongue grab. Yeah, they're staying really far away from Behemoth, which they need to do. Spreading out, uh, making sure that he can't corner any of them, and uh, using that advantage of height, right? He cannot jump. He cannot as easily get to those higher spots uh, than they can. You saw Sunny's mini nuke there doing devastating damage to the monster as the monster is now down below half health with two hunters down and the monster below half health. This fight could go either way as we see the trapper is killed and assault is on two strikes. And you know me, Dave, I gotta root for that behemoth. You know, I'm always rooting for the monster. I feel like he's got this one in the bag here. You know, he, he's got a lot of strikes down on him and he's, uh, he's showing his dominance. He tries to use the walk, rock wall to separate, but he's attacked by both the mortar cannon and the mini nuke from support. Yeah, there's a lot of damage coming his way from the shrapnel grenades to the mini nuke to everything. I mean, these guys are laying the hurt in. Laying the hurt with the weak spots and the assaults auto fire shotgun, bringing Behemoth down to just a bar of health. He does throw up the rock wall, gets the sneak pounce on assault. It is just a sliver of health with Behemoth. As you see the mini nukes coming his way, finished with the shotgun and the hunters win.